Hello and welcome to the Vinox Ammies. This is a very exciting year. That's why I am dressed like a code bender. I've got my code bending coat. A lot of us code benders wear shades. The point I'm trying to make is this is the Vinox Ammies. But what I'm going to do is start off with the crap. What's the crap? We got reality. Who's up for it? Breaking Amish. It's old. They already won. But I don't care. I need to nominate someone. Why? Because Who is America won. What is Who is America? Sergeant Baron Cohen convinces this guy to do a terrorist attack. Like, he's seriously, like, he's like, oh, let's do a terrorist attack. And the guy's like, all right, let's do a and, and I'm not going to, but he does a lot of other stuff, too. All right. This is the moment everyone's been waiting for. Actually, everyone's waiting for the comedy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sci-fi first. We got Channel Zero. It's nominated. We got Colony. We got The 100. We got Lost in Space. I want to kick that one off because now I got enough people on that list. Back when I nominated it, I didn't have enough people on the list. Because I just... <laughs> I'm not a very good person to be in a relationship with mainly because I'm kind of in a relationship with myself in my closet that's not my closet it's my parents storage room where I'm making the Vinox Sammies and I'm telling you guys that I'm like oh, I'm a great program I'm so smart I am an Illuminati representative that hangs out in his parents storage room that has a bunch of receipts and China in it all right so which one are we gonna do first Oh man, this makes it harder. Cause I was gonna do because com comedy's up next. I'm gonna go with sci-fi. Alright. Wait, I already already announced who's who's up. So who wins? I'm still doing three percent. Why? Because the last season was crazy. Like if it was just the second season, it wouldn't have won. Like the Travelers is actually really, really, really good. And the Travelers probably actually got second place, even though Doctor Who was good, but Doctor Who's been around. All right, the drama category. Seriously, I really am like dressed like a code bender. Look at me over here with my little. All right, but think about code bending. What are, what is Wi-Fi? It's got code. CDMA, right? All right, so it's got a lot of code to it. All right, so drama nominees. We got Gossip Girl. It's actually really good. All right, this is actually a really hard category because we got Mr. Robot. That's why. That's why it's difficult. Actually, it's not the only reason it's a difficult category. It's because we got the OA part one. Why? Because Brit Marling is like, Mi corazón, she's just muy... Oh, she's just... She's smart. And she's... in like, if you've ever seen The East and the movie uh, Another Earth, she's brilliant. She wrote Another Earth. Wait, okay, who else is up? Manhunt Unabomber. Dude, that, that movie, that TV show was crazy. All right, um, Gotham, it's up for it. Yeah, you lost. Guarantee it. Alias Grace lost too, but I actually watched that a while ago. It was a while back, but I was like, that show was good enough. I'm going to put it on the list. Who wins drama? Yeah, wait, is Game of Thrones off of it? Game of Thrones is now in the fantasy category. This is not even, this is not even a very fair competition anyways the winner is gossip girl why because i'm picking them you're not picking them maybe if you're a hacker you like mr robot or your computer person maybe if you like to be sad but then you also think it's brilliant you like OA. maybe you think manhunt unabomber is actually incredible but still all right so who okay so three percent one gossip girl one who's next all right let's do fantasy uh, you know what? Stranger Things is on there. I'm kicking them off. Why? Because overrated. The Protector is underrated. Is it as good as Stranger Things? From my perspective, because they're in Turkey, because it's got a crazy storyline. It's like all oh, Illuminati crazy. He has no idea. I already know. Oh, oh, this could be based on John Alexander's life. How in the world? 
could you have never known that you are this super Illuminati crazy person that gets followed around by these people? And then, now, oh, you still live in your parents' basement, you're never gonna get paid. Alright, so. Yeah. Alright, we got Once Upon a Time. That's also nominated for fantasy. It's uh, really good if you want to watch it with your kids. Um, magicians, obviously, it's not for your kids. <laughs> Yeah, in case you didn't know, especially season two. Season two is like, oh, fuck. And then the reason The Magicians is lost, as you already know, is because um, season three, like, she gets messed up. And, like, and like after that, she's just not her anymore because season two messed her up so bad. And I, like, don't want her to be messed up, but it's also just, it's not as compelling of a story. But wait, was season three that good? I think it was. Maybe I just forgot. Alright, I think this season's really good. Game of Thrones is nominated in fantasy category. And so is Sabrina. Alright, this is really not fair. Because I know that Game of Thrones and the Magicians probably should win. Because But they've been around so long that they're losing to Sabrina in my mind. And also, like, even though she's like a little baby, like, she's like... She's kind of like a sexy little baby. I don't know. Okay, maybe that's gonna... Maybe that should be edited out. That code business of taking vows to only... What? Only four women. That's it. <laughs> but I, I'm not... <laughs> that's definitely not what I'm saying here. Alright, so... Wait. We're picking Sabrina, obviously. I mean, cuz, come on. Like, It's because it's funny. It's because it's so funny. And plus, it's kind of... It's intriguing. And then, plus, like... I don't know. It's awesome. All right. <laughs> Downward. The TV show. We're oh, oh my gosh. We're we're so far. Okay. We got action. All right. So in the action list, Bodyguard won before, and Bodyguard is nominated again. And so is The Lost Kingdom, because Arthur Pendragon is that even who it is? Uthor. That's no. That's a Arthur. The like. That's he's that's a movie. All right. Homeland is nominated in action category. Why? Because I put it in there. I was like, bitches, I'm going to put that in there. <sighs> the thing about code benders, every time that we start bending things about our knowledge, stuff breaks. All right, so Bodyguards is nominated. End of the Badlands is nominated because that movie's awesome. Or TV show is awesome. Close is nominated. It's about a female bodyguard. It's like pretty awesome, actually. Um, Blacklist is nominated, even though it's like not as good as it was in the very beginning. The winner, who do you think? Homeland. Why? Because Homeland's freaking incredible. Homeland is that good that I was like, all right, wh what category am I putting this in? I'm going to put it in action because it's that good of a TV show. It's about a CIA agent and it's like crazy because like, you don't know. It's complicated. All right. Comedy. New nominees. Silicon Valley. Love, it's a Netflix show with uh, Jillian Jansen in it. Uh, the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, which really was really, really funny in the beginning, and it's probably really funny, and I don't even think I've seen this season. All right, so Orange is the New Black, nominated. New Girl is nominated. This is a long list. Why? Because it's comedy. This, com this is like, TV comedy is kicking ass. All right, South Park's nominated. The Tick is nominated. If you've ever seen The Tick, it's on Amazon. Like, dude, I know that Amazon and I have been like... What's on Amazon? We beefing, We're trying to mess with every business in America, We're trying to take over every business opportunity possible. But um, the ticket's still funny. All right, and Rick and Morty's nominated too. Okay, the winner for best fan wait, best comedy is Rick and Morty. Still, all right, and of course the Airbenders when. Uh, best TV show, even though pretty sure that half of you go guys are going to know Homeland's probably the best TV show, and then another half of you guys are going Gossip Girl, and then uh, that would leave 0% of you guys going, actually Rick and Morty's probably the best show, it's that funny. Alright, animated film, I'm giving it to Trolls, why? Because it's that good, and I don't have any other nominated because I haven't seen that many animated films, but I could nominate Surf's Up from the past and Shrek and all those and the Incredibles and 
It's just like that. Alright, so we're going to do actions now. Actions. Hellfest is nominated. Because Hellfest is actually, like, it's it's action. It, it involves a lot of action. And it's also just a really creative idea for a show, for a movie. And I actually did enjoy it. Like, I'm just, I'm not just saying that. Like, I actually, like, for, for, like, it's like one of the best um, scary movies of all time. It's going to be a cult film forever. So The Expendables 1 through 4. Why? Because I needed action. I was like, alright, let's get action. Expendables. Because they are. Every single one of them. Alright. Fate of the Furious. It's awesome. God bless America. Have you ever seen it? Like, it's like about this guy and this, this girl that, like, go around. I'm not going to tell you, but it's funny. But it's action. I think it's action. Like, I almost want to let it win. Dunkirk's nominated. Baby Driver is nominated, which I kind of want to let Baby Driver win. Mm, all right. King Arthur, Legend of Swords, Guy Ritchie film. If you've ever seen um, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels or Snatch, that's Guy Ritchie. And he made a Ar King Arthur film. And that movie's really, really good. And I'm having a lot of trouble deciding right now because my thing says King Arthur won, according to me. But then deep down, I want the baby driver to win. But then deep down, I think God Bless America is like the funniest, and I would like actually enjoy that the most. But The Expendables is actually really fun to watch. And Fate of the Furious, like, it's crazy. All right. Does that mean Hellfest lost? You have to understand, I'm not a scary movie person, but like, I am a scary movie person. Is that okay? All right. Um. God bless America. All right, God bless America's winning. All right, so, uh, okay, it's winning. No, it won. All right, so, now we're on to fantasy. Your fantasy was me doing this, right? So that's why I did it in this little outfit. Should I take these off? Um, some code benders get to take off their glasses, some don't. Uh, some get stalked more than others. All right, best musical one is won by Greatest Showman. Why? I don't know, because it was actually a really, really good good film. All right. Um, I don't have any other nominees for that necessary section. All right, so we got Fantasy. Justice League is nominated. I know I said that like it's not going to win. All right, so Downsizing isn't going to win either, but Downsizing, I actually really enjoyed it. It was a creative concept. Jumanji, the one with The Rock, nominated. That's Yeah, that's the right category. All right, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, too. Really liked it. And the winner is Thor Ragnarok. Because it's funny. Because it's funnier than all the other ones. That's why it won. Alright. Sci fi. Uh, we want to take a moment to do a nod to Men in Black 1 through 3. Because every single one is good. Especially Men in Black 2. Alright. So we got Ready Player 1 in the sci fi category. Uh, that one's going to lose. Uh, Ender's Game. That one's freaking crazy. Ender's Game is crazy. Ender's Game is, like, really crazy. Um, Alright, Solo, Star Wars movie. So much fun to watch if you like Star Wars. Because it was actually a good film. Um, Black Panther. Nominated in sci-fi sci category. Um, because it's not as much fantasy because it's actually kind of science-y. And it could be in the action category... And it would have beat King Arthur there. Um, would it? Yeah, it would because it's way prettier. Because I've, I've already seen Black Panther twice and I haven't seen King Arthur twice. All right, Black Panther won. All right, so best drama. This is where we get serious. Take a moment to um, remember all the great actors that have lost incredible amounts of weight in such a very short amount of time for roles. And we're going to think about the possibility that I could actually lose a great amount of weight for my role as man that a woman would actually want to have sex with. All right, so we're going to have on the drama list, we got Wonder, story about a disabled kid, very inspiring, incredible m movie. All right, Hidden Figures, story about um, three black women, uh, specifically one that was involved with doing mathematics at NASA, and she uh, fought through a glass ceiling. American Made, story about um, trafficking drugs and weapons for uh, the CIA, Tom Cruise is in it, Snowden, 
story about a guy who didn't handle the situation as well as he could have. But what else was he going to do? Not go to Russia. He could have just gone to prison. But then he would have had to go to prison. But then it would have been even more infuriating. I don't know. But it's a really good movie. All right, so Gifted is nominated also because Gifted is really good. It's a story about a really special girl who's really smart and um, has trouble dealing with the rest of the world because um, she's so smart. And Suffragette is nominated, and Suffragette is a story about uh, women trying to get the right to vote in England, and like it was so freaking good. All right. And the winner, best drama, goes to Suffragette, obviously, because it's like one of the best movies ever made. It's just absolutely incredible because it's based on a real story. It's good. All right. So <clears throat> we're to the comedy category, which is my department. 16 minutes, not too bad, all things considered, even though we'd like to do a nod to some past shows. Borgia, if you've ever seen that show, that show's freaking crazy. It's kind of like, dude. That show's crazy. I'm not talking about the Showtime version. I'm talking about the other version. It's not on Netflix, um, but there is a Netflix Borgia version about the Borgia. But that show is freaking nuts. Um, Firefly. Everyone and their dog knows that Firefly would win, win Best TV Show. All right, Peaky Blinders. If you get past the first episode, it would win Best TV Show probably. I can't remember. Wait, no. Oh, this is the last Airbender year. All right. I don't know about that. Star Trek Enterprise. F all the other Star Treks. Watch Star Trek Enterprise. Walking Dead. You've won, they've won before. Merlin. You know me. Got a magical coat. I think I'm Merlin. Uh, Sense 8. We need the Wachowskis back. I know. Life's a bitch sometimes. Alright. Betten. If you've never heard of it, it's a pretty cool show. Um, Alright. 4400. That's pretty very intriguing. Crazy show. Hell on Wheels, I liked it a lot. Story about building the railroads. 4400 Sci-Fi Bitten is about werewolves, so you might not like it. Helix is about like a crazy virus, and it's really good. All right, so I, this is what I just came across when I was looking for things. We're to the comedy category. In the comedy category, we have Don't Think Twice. Story about improv. Special thing in my heart because I love improv. I am an improv drama kid at heart. I'd rather be improving than doing anything else that involves acting. Bad Moms is nominated. That actually uh, was the winner as of yesterday. The House is nominated. Will Ferrell, Amy Poehler, so freaking funny. Like, made me laugh harder than any of these other ones. Um, but isn't going to win. Daddy's Home 2 almost made me laugh harder than any of the other ones. And you're like, what, Daddy's Home 2 is nominated? Dude, Daddy's Home 2 is really freaking good. Uh, Mark Wahlberg, Will Ferrell, really, really good movie. Or good, yeah, that's a movie. And the winner is... Don't Think Twice. Why? Because I loved it! Oh my gosh, dude, like, like, I didn't even know Jillian Jansen's name until I watched that movie. And then after I watched that movie, I was like, who is this girl? I was like, she's so freaking brilliant. I was, I want to improv with her. Like, I just, I just want to play, do improv with her. And like, like when you see someone, you're like, I need to improv with you. Come, like, let's do something absolutely good that could have been terrible if I was by myself. Just improv is hard by yourself. All right, so we're going to do a nod to an intriguing movie I came across, Transcendence. Have you ever seen it? It's about artificial intelligence, Johnny Depp. Crazy transcendence. All right, we have finally made it. It's the moment. Wait, do I get to take this off now that the airbender is already won? No, because I'm a codebender. All right, I gotta still wear this stupid thing. Sometimes being a codebender makes you all sweaty. It makes you pissed off. You find out that React Native actually has versions, and then you find out that React Na that navigation. Sh mm, so now I'm gonna have to go say f this course, and I'm gonna have to teach myself this shit because I already went this far, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go learn React Native. It's really easy. But then if you don't have a teacher, you have to go like read the documentation and figure it out that way. All right, so we're gonna pick a best film. Dude, this is really hard. Because deep down, like, I think, do I love Don't Think Twice? Don't do, no, 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 don't do that. Because I know that Suffragette is the best film. Like, I know it's the best film. Why? Because it's the best film. But is it the best film? Did King Arthur, instead of Baby Driver, 
Baby Driver is good. All right. Baby Driver wins. Okay. <laughs> Best film. Do we want the house to win best comedy, but then don't think twice, but then I think don't think twice actually wins. And the thing is, like, I feel like I should have been a comedian when I lived in Chicago, and I didn't, and that makes me disappointed. All right. Best film, Suffragette. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the Vinox Sammies live from my closet, me talking for 20 minutes straight. Um... I think you guys are going to pay me, right? Anybody going to give me money then if I can walk around with funny hats and not get it anyway because I have so much money then I'll be like, oh damn, money can't solve your problems. <laughs> In fact, money can make your problems worse. I got into a conflict with someone and he was like, he's like, your dog peed in my yard. I paid $40,000 for my yard. And I was like, well, dog's peeing grass, dude. And... <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to be like, do you need some money? Like, if, do you want me to pay you every time my dog pees in the yard and then you'll leave me alone? But I feel like that would have been bad if I had money. So maybe it's good to not have money. Anyways, I tried to watch Don't Think Twice, twice and it didn't hit as well as the first time. So Suffragette does win. Hope you enjoyed the Vinox Sammies.